Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about things that might arise when you're receiving radiation therapy that might stop your radiation temporarily or even permanently. Things that we look for when you're getting radiation therapy. As you know, radiation therapy is given to targeted specific areas. For example, the breast and the neighborhood lymph nodes. That could be the lymph nodes um, in the armpit or that area, and also the area above the clavicle. It depends on the stage of disease and other characteristics of the tumor. So I'm gonna talk about that first, and then I'll talk about radiation therapy in other parts of the body. So radiation therapy given to the breast and the neighborhood lymph nodes is given to decrease the risk of cancer coming back in the breast, chest wall, armpit area, and above the clavicles. And in people at higher risk with more nodes or more active disease, we actually see a survival improvement with such radiation therapy. So it's really important, and we like not to interrupt radiation therapy or delay radiation therapy. And we like to give you the full course of treatment as well. But there are some things where we'll have to take a break, and I'll describe those. The first would be if you had a serious medical complication. So if you had symptoms or signs of uh, a heart attack or a stroke, your radiation is gonna be interrupted. Or if your diabetes is completely out of control, we need to sort of put out the fire before we continue with, with your radiation therapy. So that's sort of a broad umbrella. You know the medical problems that you have, and what you want to do is work with your team to make sure those are as well controlled as possible so that once you start radiation therapy, you can continue all the way through. More specific to radiation therapy itself is that we can see burning of the skin and even something called desquamation, where the skin starts to peel. There are two types of desquamation, squamous refers to or squamous to the cells of the skin. Desquamation means the skin is disappearing. If there's dry desquamation, that does not change our treatment plan. If there's moist desquamation, where the skin is very moist and it's weeping, that's pretty severe. And you'll notice if you have that, you'll notice the dry desquamation as well. But this is really severe skin toxicity. You will recover, this will get better, but it's really important that we not make that worse and continue radiation. So you may see that your team will suggest a week off of healing. And they're not doing it just because of what you're experiencing at that time, but because your team knows what's coming. And what they don't want to do is continue treatment to the point where you're in real trouble, where you're having severe burning. There are lots of things we can do to help with that desquamation. We use silvadine, which is a cream or ointment we use in people having, who've had burns, and that can help with healing. It's important to talk with your radiation therapy team before you start radiation to ask about any ointments that you could get if you want to have, you know, if you want to be proactive about having those on hand. But you'll be seeing your radiation team once a week. So if you see any signs of this problem, then that's the point at which they will prescribe them because they're expensive and you don't want to pay for medications you don't need. But just be prepared to talk to your team about that. And that's actually why people see the team once a week on radiation therapy. Even if you don't see the doctor, you'll see one of the nurses to make sure you're tolerating treatment okay. Those are the main, that's the main side effect from radiation therapy itself that will cause us to pause your treatment, aggressively manage your skin toxicity, and then resume treatment. Don't be worried that your treatment will be compromised. What we tend to see is that if people have to stop or pause radiation therapy so that they can heal, is we don't tend to see um, a defect or deficit, um, any downsides of that pause. What we do try to avoid are other reasons for radiation therapy breaks, like vacations or not being able to get a ride. If you are in a situation where you have a vacation that's going to interrupt treatment, you may wanna work around your vacation and actually wait on radiation till afterwards 
or you may want to start even earlier than what they planned by a week for example and that can be okay if you're recovering from surgery or from chemotherapy without any difficulties um, the other reason would be is if you had another major complication uh, if you had a very rare side effect of radiation therapy like lung toxicity pulmonary toxicity we might want to wait a week Again, that's really uncommon during radiation therapy. You can check out our other video to see um, side effects of radiation therapy. But um, if you're having any of these problems, be prepared that there may be an adjustment. If there's been a long break, we may talk about extending your radiation therapy. So that's radiation therapy. What I've covered so far is radiation therapy to the breast and the regional or area or neighborhood lymph node areas. The second thing I want to talk about is radiation therapy to other parts of the body if cancer is found in those other parts. Cancer tends to, the radiation therapy tends to be much shorter, so we don't tend to see the same problems that we see with the longer course of radiation therapy. But if you're getting radiated to the spine and you're having burning problems, it's more likely that we'll manage the skin problems than it is that we'll delay the treatment. So I wouldn't expect to see treatment delays or interruptions if you're getting radiation therapy to other parts of the body. But that can happen if you're particularly sensitive to the radiation therapy. Again, the course is much shorter. It's more like 10 days or, or even two days. And we don't tend to see those problems like the moist desquamation that I mentioned with treatment to the chest wall. If you wanna learn more about your treatment plan and whether radiation therapy might be part of your treatment options, visit yerba.com. And if this video has been helpful, click like and subscribe. That'll help other people like you find this information. And if you want to drop a question in the chat, we usually get back to you within a week or two.